today i had an idea most youtubers that are incredibly successful have a very worryingly large parasocial relationship with their audience at that point you're not just watching a youtuber you're having someone that you can call family entertain you usually while you're sat on your own in front of your computer or laptop eating food and then i thought what is the most parasocial thing i could do and then it came to me to take a personality quiz live in front of thousands of my own viewers just so that they could psychoanalyze me and predict what kind of character I am and what personality traits I have. Almost like trying to predict the plot twist of an anime two seasons beforehand. I used a site called 16 Personalities, which breaks down all the personality types into 16 individual types and also four individual subcategories. For example, people that can show no emotion whatsoever and usually browse the subreddit r slash I am very smart. Another group that think they're unique and special and can help everyone, but burst down into tears when they get a single compliment because they didn't have a stable home life. There's also the group of literal sheep. If you get this group, you are definitely the most boring person imaginable. And of course, last but definitely not least, the mentally ill. And today, you'll find out what category I fall into. So yeah, <laughs> enjoy. You know your mother's been sucking cocks, man. Personality test. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's take this. Only 10 minutes to get a freakishly accurate description of who you are and why you do the things you do. You regularly make new friends. Uh, I'd, I'd say I, I say I would. I say I would. Whenever I'm social, whenever I leave the house like once a month, if I get drunk enough. You spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pike peak peak your interest uh sometimes i get like in downtime yeah seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too uh yes yes i've seen people cry and it has made me cry just by proxy you often make a backup plan for your backup plan uh i don't think i do that you often make a backup plan for your backup plan do i even make a backup plan no not really you usually stay calm in even under a lot of pressure i'd like to think i do I'd like to think I can keep a level head. I'd like to think I keep a level head uh, when shit gets bad. At social events, you really try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Definitely not. If you if you see me at a social event, I'll be talking to all the randoms and, and then I'll walk away and then they'll think, what a fucking freak. You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another? Yes. I won't fully commit to that, but yes. W with the long form videos, definitely. I don't like to juggle because if I juggle topics, I end up fumbling. You're sentimental. You're sentimental. What's that? Feelings of tenderness? Nostalgia? I don't think sentimental meant nostalgic. Uh, feeling of tenderness. If I see a kid fall over, I'll laugh at them. But then if I see a dog get put down, I'll cry. So I guess, yeah, sure. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists? Definitely not. Definitely not. I'm very unorganized. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I, I think it's like, if you're on a track with something... If, if I'm doing something and then I fumble it, it will make me kind of just want to give up the entire thing. And and, and then you go into this whole like less sad, uh, less sad doubt. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation? Uh, yes, I did that at Morgs Fest, Lamau. You are not too interested in discussing various interpretations or analyses of creative work. No, I'd say I am. I disagree with that. Not fully, but yeah, I, I, th I think it's interesting. Uh, I mean, if someone brought it up first... I'd talk about it, but I wouldn't be the one to initiate it. Chat, pay attention. We're building a parasocial relationship. Now start comparing yourself to him. There, there will legit be people in chat that'll be like, I got the same personality as him. He is literally me. It's like Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling, Patrick Bateman. You really worry about whether you make a good impression? Oh no, I worry a lot. I definitely worry a lot. W one of my biggest worries is if I made a good impression on someone, especially like if you get drunk and you wake up the morning after you get that hang anxiety. Hangs out, it's called. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation at the end. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, but not really. Like, it's not my favorite, but if they do it well, you are definitely not an artistic type of person. I thought it said autistic. <laughs> Agree. I don't, I don't think so. I, I'm not doing hard disagree because I guess there's the creative writing process of videos, but yeah, I, I'd pick like soft disagree. Your mood can change quickly. I don't think it can change... You often end up doing things at the last possible minute. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a hard degree, but I, I, I wish I didn't, but I definitely do have that in me sometimes. You've always been fascinated by the question of what if anything happens after death? Not really. Oh, for fuck. I'm thinking about it now. For fuck's sake. This is the equivalent of saying you are now breathing manually. You find it easy to empathize with the person whose experiences are very different from yours. Yes. I'm trying to think of an example, though, so I'm not just saying yes to look good on the internet. 
Uh, after a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. Definitely. I fucking miss, I miss going out, man. I've been grinding videos so much because I'm going to uh, Melbourne. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. No, no, definitely not. I think it's pretty easy to read people. Uh, as long as it's not over text messages. You rarely feel insecure. Uh, no, I, I think I, I think I regularly feel insecure. Yeah, I, I definitely think there's a lot to be insecure about. I, I saw Dr. Mike talk about this once. It's good to be insecure about yourself to an extent. If you feel like you can improve on it and you're using that, you're weaponizing that insecurity to use it to build on yourself, that's good. That's really good. If it turns into a hyper fixation that you can't get out of your head, that's bad. And I've never got to that point, thankfully. But there's definitely parts of myself I want to improve, 100%. In your social circle, you are often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. Yes. <laughs> You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Why, why is it making me get existential again, bro? I don't really know. Uh, no, I, sometimes I do, but not, not really a lot. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take for them to feel disappointed in you. Uh, yes. Uh, especially how hyper accelerated the YouTube culture is. You will literally see people that like look up to you and then a year later, they'll just say, oh yeah, fuck you. Don't watch you anymore. Uh, so yeah, no, no, definitely. I think, I think that's, I think YouTube is a, is a result of that. You're very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. Uh, no, which one's going to get me canceled? You feel confident that things will work out for you. Yes. Your gender. what I get? What the fuck is this? I got white old man. I got white hair. What is this? Fucking Gandalf? Okay. So mind, extrovert, energy, intuitive, nature, feeling, tactics, judging. I'm a judging person, lol. Identity, turbulent. Protagonists feel called to serve a greater purpose in life. Thoughtful and idealistic. Ah, oh, this is the good boy one, isn't it? This is like the literally me. This is this is the one that has no downsides. It is like a perfect, he's a, he's a perfect person. He just wants to help everybody. I just want to help everybody. I'm, I'm such a, I'm such a nice person. Let, let, let's just see the negatives. Receptive, reliable, passionate, altruistic. Fuck off. Okay, weaknesses. Unrealistic. They put pressure on themselves to right every wrong they encounter. Okay, so the negative is too much of a good boy. Fuck. Off. Overly idealistic. They tend to have clear ideas about what's right and wrong and often think that everyone shares these principles. So I'm a moron. Intense. When it comes to self-improvement, they're really short on energy or determination. But they may not recognize that not everyone shares these qualities. This is just the good boy. This is literally just the good boy. But protagonists have a tendency to take on others' problems as their own. A habit that can leave them emotionally and physically exhausted. That is literally the good boy class. I, th I, I, I think I did that wrong. That's not right. That, that, that's literally just good boy. Protagonists, you may know. Barack Obama, Daenerys Target. Well, she's a fucking bitch. Morpheus. Hey! Same as Morpheus, baby. Skylar White. Oh, no! 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 Not Skylar White, man! Oh, it's done. Okay, you know what? No, I deserve this. I deserve this now. I thought this personality type didn't fit me. That is the best punishment you could have got. The one personality type out of 16, and it's Skylar fucking White! Skylar White. <gasps> My name is Skylar White, yo. I mean, what's really bizarre is the fact you get no bitches.